When you upgrade to Synology Drive version 3.1 and you open up the Synology Drive admin console, you're gonna be prompted with a message that's gonna inform you that you can convert your My Drive. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know exactly what this is gonna do. And when you dive a little deeper into it, you're gonna see that Synology gives you a message that says that this conversion is irreversible. So what we're gonna to do today is take a look at exactly what this conversion does so you can decide if you do wanna convert your My Drive folder or if you don't. Now before you even look at Synology Drive, it's important to understand how the Home and Homes folder works inside of your file station. Now Synology, honestly, in my opinion, did a terrible job with the naming convention of these folders because it's very confusing. There's Home and then there's Homes. Now I'm logged into Synology DSM as an administrator. And when I expand this homes folder, you're gonna see that one folder exists for every single user account that you have on your NAS at this point. Now this is the individual folder that this user has that is assigned to their user account. So whenever your users log into any of the applications that are currently using Synology's home folder, good examples of that would be Synology Drive and Synology Photos. When they go in and they upload files to their individual drive folder or upload photos, it's gonna write directly to their home folder. So the best way to look at the homes folder is that every single one of your users will be listed there and their individual home folder will be inside of that. So what you'll see here is if I expand the Frank folder inside of my homes folder, and then I go through above and I expand the home folder, you're gonna see that they both match. And the reason that they both match is because I'm currently logged into the Frank user account and my home folder has the contents that my individual user account uploaded to them. Now this can get confusing when you're an administrator because you're logging in and you see everybody's home folder. So the big takeaway here is that when you upload files on whatever user account you're currently logged into, they will upload to your individual home folder. Every single user account has their own home folder and administrators can go in and see the contents of those home folders for every single user. Now, the way that this translates to Synology Drive version 3.1 is that you're able to index an entire home folder where in the past you couldn't. So here you'll see that I have my Drive folder and my Drive folder is the only folder that I had indexed prior to version 3.1. So we're gonna take a look at exactly what it does before you convert it and after you convert it. So opening the Synology Drive application, you're gonna see that if I select the My Drive option, I'm gonna be showing two folders, test file one and test file two. Now, if we go back to file station and we expand our home folder and then we select drive, you're gonna see that those are the contents that exist in my home folder under Synology Drive. Now this photos folder is for Synology Photos, but unfortunately in Synology Drive at this point, we can't actually access any of that because Synology Drive is only indexing that drive folder. So at this point, if we go through and we open up the Synology Drive admin console and we go to team folder and we select my drive, you can select the convert option there. And what you're gonna see is that warning that you saw earlier that this is irreversible. So you have to make sure that you actually want to do this. But after you proceed and you actually convert this folder, if you were to launch Synology Drive again, you're gonna see the big difference here is that the entire home folder is indexed. Now, if you go back to Synology Drive and you reload that page, you're gonna see that instead of showing the two test files that we have, we now have two folders. We have one for Drive and one for Photos. In order to get back to our Synology Drive information, we can just double click into that Drive folder and then we'll see all of our files there. If you go back though, you can actually navigate through all of your photos as well. So really what you're doing is you're allowing Synology Drive to index the entire home folder. So any photos that are automatically uploaded using Synology Photos, you'll be able to actually navigate through all of them in Synology Drive. This is gonna be true for any application that uses the home folder. So like Synology says, this is irreversible. So make sure that you wanna convert it before you actually do. But at this point, anytime anything is uploaded to that home folder, it will automatically show in Synology Drive because Synology Drive will be indexing it. So I'm hopeful that this video helped clear up exactly what this new feature does. If you have any questions though, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. 
If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.